everybody, long time no see. I haven't made a video in a while, um, and I'm not really sure why I just haven't been feeling like motivated in life in general, but I'm definitely getting back into social media. I haven't even been watching YouTube videos, which is literally my favorite pastime, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm feeling more motivated and it lasts, so I plan on making um, quite a few more videos after this and being more active on like my social media accounts, uh, mainly my Instagram. So I'll leave that link down below in my email as always so you guys can get in contact with me. Uh, and also, if you guys want my Snapchat, let me know. It's my personal Snapchat, <clears throat> and I don't know if I want to put it out there or if you guys are interested, but if you are, let me know. So these are products I've used up or my empties video that I have been collecting items for for quite some time. I have a lot of candles, but... <clears throat> I'll save this for last because I know not everybody likes to see the candle part. Um, so the first thing I've used up are these Face Secrets Professional Regular Cotton Rounds. Um, they're just typical cotton rounds, but in fact, these ones are... I wish I had one to show you an example. I don't particularly like them because they were really um, flaky in a way. Like, the tufts came off really easily, even though it was like a cotton round. And I got this brand at Sally's. My sister works there, so I've been trying out a lot of products. Um, and I just wasn't impressed because they really came apart very easily. The next, and I'm not going to get rid of this container because I love old perfume bottles, but I used in my Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. This is my second bottle of this, and I absolutely love this stuff. I hate buying perfume just because it is so expensive. Because um, I think it's like 60 to 80 bucks for this, but this perfume just smells... Literally so fresh and clean. I absolutely love it and I would 100% repurchase it again. I used up these Aveeno Positively Radiant Makeup Removing Wipes. I really did not like these. They dried out super quickly and they didn't come overly moist anyways. I know you guys hate that word. Um, and it really tugged. Like it took a lot of work to get my makeup off. And on top of that, I had to use extra makeup removing like liquids on top of this to like re remove my makeup. So not impressed by this at all. I don't know if I just got a faulty package or if these, if it's just how these are. Um, I used up another one of my, this is gross because I was like sitting in the bag for so long, but my Clarisonic, um, brushes. This was the, I think for the dry skin, but my skin's starting to get oily again. Um, so I've been using the sensitive ones. Not that I noticed this made an overall difference in like my dry skin, but that was the brand or the type that it was. I used up this Bath and Body Works Black Cherry Merlot Nourishing Hand Cream. I did really, really like this. I love this scent. It's definitely one of my go-tos. It was a little greasy and didn't leave my hands as soft as, like, the hand food from, um... Oh, what's that brand? Soap and Glory. So, um, I don't know if I would try this again, but the overall scent I do love. I used up... My Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser, and this was from Normal to Oily Skin. I really, really like this whenever I have oily skin, but throughout the winter, it really, really dried my skin out, and I was having a lot of issues with dry skin. So I would repurchase this for the summer months whenever I am oily, but definitely not for dry skin at all. I used up this NYX HD Concealer in the color CW10. This is more of a yellow one. I really, really like this product. I have already repurchased it. Not in the yellow, but I did repurchase it in the number two so I can use it to highlight. I really, really like this. It was perfect for highlighting. It lasts all day and it did not crease. Very light feeling and I would definitely recommend it. I used up another tube of my Makeup Forever Aqua Smoky Lash. If you guys have been watching me, you know this is literally my go-to mascara. I cannot find anything to replace it, despite all of the recommendations and all of the products that I have been trying. This is just my absolute favorite. Um, my last beauty product is this Onyx Professional Professional Soak Off Gel and All Nail coatings. Oh, so it's like a, it says that it soaks off gel and all nail coatings. Um, it says that it has coconut maximum strength enriched with different oils, and it says that it can remove gel nails, nail polish, artificial nails, nail glue, glitter polish, and more. I really, really did like this stuff. I would repurchase it. I don't know if it removes the gel nails or anything, because I didn't try it. Anytime I get the gel, because I like the gel, I just peel it off, which drives me nuts, but I mean... This was really good at getting my nail polish off. You didn't have to scrub too hard, and it's such a big bottle. It lasts for such a long time, and I think this is de like I think it's like two bucks, but it's definitely under four. And I got this at Walmart, I believe. I have a soap product. I have a feeling because I 
have a bag where I put all of my empties and sometimes I don't remember to put them in right, right away so Joe will see like an empty hand soap and I'll just throw them away. So don't think that I'm dirty and I've only used up one hand soap in the past few months. Um, he just tends to throw away all of my hand soaps. Um, so this is a Bath & Body Works Sea Island Cotton Soap. I had this in my bathroom. Everything Bath & Body Works I just love. There for the longest time. I'm a very cheap person and I was like, you know what, Bath & Body Works is so expensive and you know, I don't didn't want to spend money there but it is so worth it like literally I have soaps like because I have a big soap collection that I got from I think Giant and they just don't smell the same like I have a lemon one and it smells odd and it just I think Bath and Body Works their products are just the best and you can't compare <coughs> sorry I have a cold I'm like getting stuffed up um so and that being said I have one two three four five six candles to talk about. I definitely had more. I don't know where all that. I think that's another thing that Joe like threw away because I go through candles like crazy. I literally the first thing I do when I wake up is light a candle. And for the longest time I've even said on this channel that I am not a candle snob. I may, you know would say that Bath and Body Works was too expensive and that I would use candles from other companies and other stores. That being said that I had so many candles from other stores that I've been burning and after burning a Bath and Body Works candle they just don't compare these candles from Bath and Body Works literally they smell up your three like I have I'll have to do an apartment tour but a three wick candle will smell my kitchen my living room and then the front part of my hallway um and it'll even go back depending how strong the scent is and it lasts throughout the whole entire candle I've noticed so many candles they the scent doesn't last or it doesn't go as far, you know, and so I don't want to be one of those typical people that only use Bath & Body Works candles, but at this point, they're the only ones that just give me everything I like, and I know they're so expensive, I will never ever buy a Bath & Works body, um, Bath & Works, Bath & Body Works, sorry, <laughs> candle at full price, they're always having sales, so just keep an eye out, I got a whole bunch of candles at Easter time, and they were on sale for $10, and then I had a 20% off coupon, so I will never buy them full price ever. So that being said, the one scent that I have is the Italy Espresso Cafe. I did not realize that I loved the scent of coffee so much before I got this, but this is just such a tasteful coffee candle. Um, I'm like, like I said, I have a cold, so it's hard for me to smell, but I can still smell this candle. Literally, I think one of the fastest candles that I went through at all, um... It had that coffee smell, but it wasn't, like, super strong, and it just made my whole, like, literally the whole apartment smell so good. And even my foyer, you could smell it, and I absolutely love this. I hope, I know they reinvent and redo the candles all over again, um, so I definitely am going to get another one the next time I see that they have an espresso candle. It smells so good. Um, the next is the Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. This smelled fantastic. I absolutely love it. I am weird. I will only burn candles, like, per season. So, like, I won't burn this during, um, like, spring and summer because I feel like this is more of a fall winter scent. But it absolutely made my whole entire house smell like Vanilla Pumpkin, but not, like, your typical pumpkin candle. It was a very classy scent. Um, the Twisted Peppermint. This smells so good in the container, and there was another peppermint candle that I got, it was from Yankee Candle that I talked about that I was severely disappointed in. I was also disappointed in this. It smells so good in the container, but when it burns, to me, it has a scent of, like, gasoline, but not like the gasoline you put in your car. Um, have you ever had, like, a gasoline heater, like my, par like my parents had when I was growing up? That's kind of what it smells like. It has that odd, like, after scent. Um, so I was so disappointed in this because it smells so good in the container, and I love the lotions and stuff. Um, so yeah, I was disappointed in this, and I definitely would not repurchase this scent or probably any more peppermint candles because this is the second peppermint candle I've gotten from another, like, from two different brands that just did not smell good. These small candles I'm always conflicted to buying because they're $12.50. Sorry, I hope you can't hear Scooby barking. Um, they're twelve fifty, and I feel like these don't go on sale as much as the three wick candles does. Um, but I get these from my bathroom, and this is the Lakeside Sunrise. It's like just a very fresh scent. And I really did enjoy it. Again, I don't particularly like buying these um, small candles. Scooby, I'll have to give you guys an update on Scooby. He's gotten so big, and like he's gotten all his fur back and stuff. So I'll definitely have to do that. Um, the next is the back black cherry merlot. Like I've said, this is one of my favorite scents. I love it. Even in the candle, it's fantastic. It smells like my whole house. And the last one, this is from 
I have a huge candle collection. Like, I just, I'm really weird. I get really anxious if I feel like I'm going to run out of candles. Um, and this was a Spice Pineapple Samba candle. And I got this, I, I mean, probably like a year ago. Probably last summer. And I was disappointed in this. Again, it's something... That smelled so good in the container, but just didn't burn that scent. So I didn't like it as much. It smelled okay, but I'm through it, and I definitely wouldn't repurchase this scent again, but I really did like the packaging. So yeah, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am excited to be back to making videos. If you guys want any particular videos, like life updates or um, a video on Scooby or anything, let me know. Again, my Instagram and stuff will be down below. I'm going to try to be more active on that, and I will talk to you guys next video. Have a great day. Bye.